Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to today's video. Today we're going to be installing some air latch hood pins on the 135i. Um, get some snow. I uh, got rid of the course support so I don't have my stock hood latch anymore. So I'm going to be installing these to have a latch system on the car. So without any further ado, let's get straight into it. So first thing I'm doing is just kind of uh, checking where exactly the course support fits uh, relatively to the hood. So I know it goes something along this way. Uh, on the hood, so I'm thinking I'm gonna run the hood pin right around this area, uh, kind of following this body line of the hood. So what I'm gonna do right now is uh, kind of right around here, transfer that over onto the crash bar, which is somewhere around here. And what I'll do is I'm gonna go ahead and drill a hole so I can uh, run this bolt through, and then I can go ahead and put a mark on here, uh, and then I'll take the area and then I'll mark out the shape of this. Uh, once the hood pin goes through and I can actually uh, start cutting it up. All right, so I got the first one drilled out and I got this on here. I feel like it up and down, but what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna transfer this mark off the tip onto the hood so I can draw a small pilot hole and I can see where this will go through on the hood and I can start actually moving it around wherever I want it to go. I'll mark it out, uh, make the hole for it and then I'll make a template to transfer over to the other side so it can be exactly the same on both sides. All right, so I got the small pilot hole uh, drilled out so what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna add some tape around the area. Um, so I can go ahead and make some marks and also it might help prevent the, the paint from uh, chipping as I drill it through. So let's see, hopefully this just works out pretty good. All right guys, so I got it marked out where the outer edge of this is gonna go to. So now what I can do, I'm gonna use the inner parts to transfer and do the inner cutout. So I gotta cut out the sides of this uh, recess, not the outer part obviously. So now I line this up on there. And then with a different color marker, what I'm gonna do is uh, outline the part the part that I have to cut out. So uh, you saw first thing I did. I drilled out some pretty big holes with a step drill bit. Uh, and then I have this uh, die grinder with the carbon bit that I wanted out and made everything smooth. So now this thing fits on here perfect uh, where I want it to go. So now I'm gonna remove the tape, clean it up a little bit, and then I'll have to uh, push to the bottom and just bolt it down. And then just bolt out this and adjust it slightly if I need to. And then I'll pretty much be done with that one. And now I can transfer it over to this side, like a template copied over here. One thing though, if uh, this is your car and it's already running and you don't even want to clean it, I would definitely just put in like a towel or something behind it because uh, things will go everywhere. In my case, I didn't do it because this car is getting cleaned up here. Again, either way, I'm going to wash the engine bay all over again and I have no electronic whatsoever, so they didn't really matter to me. Uh, but if uh, your car is running and everything, I would highly suggest putting a tarp or something underneath it so you don't get the whole engine bay super dirty. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to go ahead and drill the holes uh, for the bolts and then I can bolt this one down. So I made a, a tape template uh, going around where this one ended up at. So now I can go ahead and peel this off, flip it upside down, transfer over to that side, tape it down. And then I can mark where it needs to go and then I can do the exact same thing. And then this will be a perfect mirror to the other one. So I'm going to go ahead and peel that off and transfer it over and do everything I did on this side. Onto that side.
All right, guys, so I got everything done. Uh, the hood lockers are working perfectly. Uh, so that's pretty sick. I'll give this a little close up of how everything works. Uh, I missed one bolt, I lost it. I don't know somewhere, so I'm gonna have to go to the store and buy one more bolt for this one. But without besides the points, uh, they work better the hood closures and openings. I already tested that uh, the lock works, so it locks. So now I can feel the thing about hood. Or not something, just random, some random person coming up and I'm opening my hood. Uh, what I gotta do now, I'm gonna go ahead and clean everything up. Um, like I said, there's a lot of shavings everywhere, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, dust it off with uh, compressed air and then take power side and wash it. Again, I'll give you guys one more little close up of everything, but everything fits pretty good. I was a little scary at first, you know, cutting out my hood, uh, but um, I'm actually really happy how everything turned out. So, if you're planning on doing this to your car, uh, like, only thing I can say is, Measure twice, cut once, because once you cut something, you can't really add material again, unless you go to the body shop or something, so definitely try to stay away from that, so. If you guys made it to the end of the video, I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. If you haven't liked the video, go ahead and like the video. It really helped me out a lot. Subscribe to the channel if you guys want to see more awesome content on this build, or more builds are going to come in the future. Well, thank you guys for watching. Peace out.